Madras. What makes the city so alive? Is it the historical heritage of the city? Is it the beauty of the coastal breeze? Or is it the vibrant hot summer embracing the city? Whatever might be the reason, but its educational grandeur is uplifted by one of the prominent universities, SRM University. The journey starts on a rainy day in my hometown, thinking all the way there'll be rains in Chennai. But as usual, it was scorching hot. This time, I had only one question in mind. How to cover 256 acres of the campus? This is the main entrance of the annexure campus, which is right beside the main campus. And this is the second entrance. Let's see the chapter 1, Blocks. This is the university building where admission inquiries take place. The tuition fees depend on the rank in SRM JEEE entrance exams and it varies between 2.5 lakhs to 3.5 lakhs. It gives you a sense that you are surfing through a campus built with lots of passion. It's important to appreciate the artistry of the campus and also to encourage how magnificent the campus looks when it is etched with so much perfection. Maga, Maga, what are you Lo, camera on it, Oh, hey guys. So do you want admissions in premium colleges of India like SRM University, Manipal University and some of the top colleges of Bangalore like RVC, BMSC, MS Ramaya through management quota, then get college admissions is your option. They'll help you with all the admission processes. They'll make your admissions very, very simple and very, very easy. I've given the link in the description below and on the screen as well. So make sure to check it out. And now let's get back to the video, guys. A four-story library with more than 3 lakh volumes of books and ebooks. This is the hyper spot where you can get food, your stationery, Xerox, etc. The Tech Park Avenue. Here lies the School of Architecture, School of Management, Law College and Bioengineering. This is the architecture block. This is how it looks from the inside. And this is a typical classroom. The campus is so vivid and vibrant, just like a color palette, and it is filling various colors in students' lives every single day. The School of Bioengineering, and right next to it lies the research park with over 200 plus crores of funding and 37,000 publications. The SRM Tech Park. It consists of CSE, ECE, Triple E, AIML and all other branches related to the IT sector. Asia's biggest auditorium with a capacity of around 4,000 seats, the TP Ganesan Auditorium. The block where mechanical labs are held. School of Mechanical Engineering. It feels like you are inside a movie set when you come to this aeronautical lab. This is the civil engineering block. Entering the medical side of the campus, this is the SRM Global Hospitals. This is the medical college building. This is the road towards dental college and this is of science and humanities. These pink buildings refer to arts, commerce and pharmacy courses. This is the faculty of hotel management. Moving on to the chapter 2, canteens. An empty stomach is no good counsellor in the pursuit of knowledge. The food park here is called Java. Here there is subway, lots of biryani shops, juice centers, bakeries, tiffin centers, pizza shops, etc. These are the set of canteens which are available in Tech Park and UB buildings. This is the mess near the pharmacy building. Living Space of Animals, Chapter 3, Hostels. 
There are 14 blocks for men with a total capacity of 7,500 and there are 6 blocks for women with a total capacity of 4,000. Hostel fees and mess fees would be in the range of 1.2 to 2.5 lakhs per annum. Every set of hostels would be provided with a mess facility. Time for chapter 4, Sports. This is a cricket ground, football ground and the place where the fest happens. Let's make it authentic with chapter 5, Reviews. How do you feel about the campus and the arena, the SRM University in a whole? Well, the campus is really huge. Like yeah. my first impression on this campus was is like, damn, greenery. Yeah. And then second, the architecture, the whole blocks and all this stuff. That really fascinated my mind and I just was like, yeah. I need to study here. And then okay. the entrance, of course. SRM University and yes. it was really crazy. There's a lot of stuff inside and there's a lot of activities, recreation clubs and Many academics, yeah. sports. Campus life is like, uh, this is my fourth year. Okay. I mean like uh, oh, four years uh, gone, gone. And I completed just uh, like, I couldn't expect uh, four years has completed, completed. Like, all of a sudden. Okay. And um, I, I'm gonna miss my college life after six months, four months. Okay. Like the campus is very beautiful. The infrastructure is good. Like they have so many buildings here. Yeah. And the like infrastructure for the academics is also too good. Like there are many labs. Yeah. Uh, so we get practical exposure, and we also have uh, various clubs in the campus. And uh, how do you feel about the faculty? Are they really supportive to you? Or? Faculty are supportive, really supportive. But I would say they lack a little bit of knowledge. Okay. In, uh, in few fields like okay there are f uh, less few opportunities here for research students okay. mostly but if you want to just do the degree it's great it's great yes the oh, faculty okay. is really chill actually because yeah. like from my day one uh, there was some confusion with the faculty but like damn the teachers who came here were like they were really polite and the way they introduced themselves the way they made us introduce and all was like really crazy, really crazy yeah. I enjoyed my faculty the way they teach us is really really like you know inquisitiveness and an interest yeah. everything like causes up in my head okay and the methods of the methods that they teach and the way they give us notes is okay. really really great because like me just coming from school me being first year it's like kind of like fascinating to see that notes yeah. are given by them and we don't have to take it much yeah but yeah that was that was really great about great this about faculty that. there is a saying that uh, you earn btech degree through your efforts only yes. faculty is there for their attendance <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you need to study by your own efforts yes no need to depend on faculty how do you feel about the food in the campus oh yeah speaking about food there's no place that nobody goes to it's java park so okay. yeah java park uh, great Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff you can do in Java Park, huh. sit there, eat there. Okay. Yeah, so specifically if I'd say about food, Java. Okay. Canteen, we call it as Java here. Here, the shawarma is famous. Chicken okay. shawarma. <laughs> biryani is famous. Famous. Like uh, around 10 to 15 stalls are there, uh, biryani. Biryani. Okay. Subway is there. Okay. If you are in the hostel, you yeah. can go for mess. Okay. And uh, for uh, biotech, like for, uh, for SRM huh. tech, tech park, park students, we cannot go there and we cannot eat. Okay. So, canteen is there in okay. SRM tech park. Huh. How's we the can food go there? Okay, okay, because it's okay. only from the college, na. It's okay. okay, but coming to Java, it's, it's not that. That's that's much okay. better. Okay, so Java is better than that. Yeah, yeah. I think you guys have attended several fests yes. during your, your yeah, BTEC. Yeah. So yeah. how was the fest experience in total? Fest experience were really good. Uh, the thing is that uh, it uh, collides with the holidays sometimes. Okay. Like uh, if it is a Durga Puja uh, duration, okay. then many people would go to their hometown or some other place or some Chengalpattu area okay. to enjoy the Durga Puja. So they might miss out yeah. some of the... They might miss out. Yeah. Other than that, what I have experienced in this festival, they uh, they do bring some uh, good people, good magician. Other than that, like they bring interesting people Got in it. the fest. And yeah, it is really interesting and worth attending. Okay. The yes. fests are great. Okay. The the SRM is really known for its fests. So the fests are really great. Cultural fests are very good. But the technical fests are not up to the mark. But the cultural ones are really good. Bro, it was a completely different vibe. Okay. Everything was lit. The guys were really on a different level there. So okay. Yatra, I enjoyed. It's completely okay. different from the college. So okay. it will be hyping some. Yeah, the hype. Yeah, the hype was increasing. It was okay. insane. Yeah. How do you feel about the club culture? Are they really active or? How and the clubs are not that active during exams they go like really down okay but a few clubs are active like the next tech club i know which is a technical club which okay. is quite active i guess you have seen uh, the campus like for three years now yeah 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 and uh, what improvements can be made what betterments can be made the campus food in, okay. in hostel food is not that much good huh. they can improve hostel food yes. to the freshest okay. so they can uh, from next for the next two years also they like 
I cannot go outside. I can sit in hostel only that because of hostel food and accommodations. Yes. Uh, just uh, add new research opportunities for students maybe. Yes. Okay. That's it. Whichever college you choose, whatever course you take, a college always delivers an experience. Make sure to take all the memories with you. I'm Ganesh Ravindra signing off.